Hey guys, what's up? My name is Manowar Matt, and welcome back to Resident Evil Director's Cut. Now, I went to my box and I looked, and honestly, I think it'll be better just to use the shotgun instead of the handgun. Because I don't think I have enough handgun bullets to deal with everything. So, I'm just going to go shotgun. Hopefully, I don't end up wasting all my shells. There's a switch below where you push it. Yes, I sure will. The ladder will you descend it? Yes, I will. Now, standard mode, I believe there are zombies down here, right? Yeah. Oh. Zombies are a little dumb in this first one. Sure, they did that on purpose. Because their AI goes all over the place. And these guys over here are hiding some, uh, or guarding some shotgun shells, so I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. Wait, oh, there's only two down here? I thought there were like three. Yeah, two shells for seven? Hell yes. So that was good. Alright. Alright, just keep on going. Could be hunters coming out? I don't think so, though. This is just standard. Yeah, it's just zombies. <laughs> I absolutely love that... That... Biting sound. That's <laughs> so cool. That guy might have something on him. I don't think so. the kitchen and yes that guy is totally alive what is this is this something I don't need oh actually I think I do that actually might be useful I don't know why I said hang on let's see we actually don't need to deal with this guy right now God, tank control. Let's just go ahead and kill this guy. I hate that zombies on the floor take more shots than when they're standing up. Oh no, he only took two? Oh wow. Usually they'll take like three or four. <clears throat> Is it working good? Okay. So paranoid, man. Because my last capture card started acting up and it went freeze during recordings. So after that, I was like, okay, I gotta get a new one. <laughs> now I got an Elgato, guys. I upgraded. <laughs> Is it only just the green herb? Oh, jeez. Whoa! Did not expect you to be there. Okay. We need to come in here because we need to get this battery. Yeah, see, this is why I grabbed the shotgun. So I knew there would be shotgun shells down here. Fifth 
52 shells. Yes, thank you. <laughs> now I can move the elevator in the courtyard. Yeah. Xavier. Or Xavier? <laughs> I don't know. Alright, so now we got the battery. Like I said, we can go move that elevator now. Alright. I think there's one more zombie over here. Hello, sir. This is has to be my favorite zombie in the whole Resident Evil series, are the bald, like the bald suit zombies. I think they, <laughs> they look so creepy. And they even reused them in the remakes, which I thought was cool. Okay. I believe there are magnum rounds in here we can get. And add to our collection. Oh, hello, sir. Sorry. Yeah, okay. So we can use the desk key on this. Get some Magnum rounds. I'm okay. I'm okay. All right. All right. Whew. Okay. There's another file. This one always freaked me out because I live in this like type of area, so it like always freaked me out when I was playing this a few years back. Just hit my my, my, my headphones, but it's okay. Raccoon Times, May twenty seventh, nineteen ninety eight. Animal attack. Woman mutilated. May 20th, around 10 p.m., a 20-year-old young woman's body was found by a passerby on the left bank of Marble River in the cider district of Raccoon City. Raccoon police assume it... <laughs> Raccoon police... <laughs> that sounds so dumb. Okay. They probably should have said Raccoon City police, but whatever. Raccoon police assume it to be a grizzly or other animal's doing because there are teeth marks along her mutilated arms and left foot that show considerable, considerable power. Since she was wearing a hiking boot on her remaining foot, it has been determined that she was attacked in the Arclay Mountains. See? With an A. <laughs> and fell into the, the river. They are hurrying to identify this woman. Raccoon Weekly, June 16th, 1998. Monsters in Arclay Mountains? Some people claim they've seen monsters in the Arclay Mountains. The monsters are supposedly about the same size as large dogs and usually run in a pack as wolves do. See, this always confused me. Do they mean the zombie dogs or do they mean hunters? I don't know. This may sound like a group of ordinary wild dogs, but these monsters are surprisingly fierce and hard to hurt. They say these dogs won't bother you unless you wake them. So probably zombie dogs. So you smart readers should should stay out of the Arclay Mountains for the time being. But if you're looking for adventure, check it out. You want to try? Dude, okay. Now this is a thing. I don't know if I br brought this up before, but this is a pro this is one of the problems with the translation of this of this game is that they didn't have a localization team. So that's why a lot of the dialogue and why a lot of the files sound so st stupid. 
is because they didn't have a localization team at the time. Not until Resident Evil 2. That's why the the, the dialogue in 2 is so much better. Raccoon Times, July 9th. Mystery on Arclay Mountains. Mountain Road blocked. Due to successive disasters in the Arclay Mountains, the city authorities have decided to block the road leading to the foothills. At the same time, Raccoon Police intend to begin the search for lost people with the help of STARS team members. Oh, they expect great difficulty because of the vast size of Arclay Mountains and the primeval primeval <laughs> forest that covers most of the area. Also, people are still reporting sightings of grotesque monsters in the mountains. Sorry, I've been having trouble reading lately because I took too long of a break from YouTube, so now I'm just horrible at it. Um, I'm trying to remember which door goes where. Is this where I think it goes? Yeah, it is. Okay. So I need to move this. Other side, move it. We need to move it to this corner. If you don't know where to push it, you can hit that switch on the wall. Alright, and this is one of the M.O. discs, or as I like to call them, M.O. discs, which will help you free your partner at the end. So we're done here. No longer need to come back in here. Now we need to go to this other side, which I don't... I don't think you have to come in here. I believe this is just optional if you want to do this. Yeah, see, there's some a clip in here you can grab. But I don't have room for it. Oh, there's ink rabbits. I need the ink rabbit. Son of a bitch. Um, I can't use this, can I? Nuh uh. Damn. I would like an ink ribbon though. Oh well. I can look over the courtyard from here. It's a helicopter port. If I could contact the other members from there. I love that. That looks so cool. Some of those pre-rendered backgrounds, I think, look so badass. Oh yeah, and you see that it's the oh, it's the other side of the mansion, which just shows you the vast length of this mansion. How big it actually is is crazy. I mean, you go from over here and all the way over there, like so cool. I love it. If I can contact the other members from here. Okay. Oh, God, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's give me a second. Um, talk about a little bit about this game. Um, I know a lot of people don't like this game because it's number one, it's super old. Number two, the dialogue is awful, but. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love how bad the dialogue is. It just makes this game so much better. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, like, I mean, that was just literally my childhood growing up. Like, was this in Resident Evil 2? Was, like, straight up my childhood. I grew up with these games. And ever since, to this day, like, they're my favorite games of all time. 
like and there's just something so crazy and nostalgic about this one in particular just just the soundtrack and the music just gets me every time that's why I was so mad when they did the DualShock version and they changed the soundtrack made me so mad I was like dude why 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 <laughs> but anyway so uh yeah I, I love this game it's absolutely incredible and to think about when this came out to think that this was the I wouldn't say the first but one of the very first games to ever create this genre of horror games is just so cool to me like this was basically the first survival horror game ever made and I gotta commend that dude to Shinji Mikami man you made probably the best gaming series in my opinion it has to be up there to me with like like, like you know like Silent Hill I'm pretty sure if it wasn't for Resident Evil there would be no Silent Hill so I gotta hand it gotta hand it to Shinji Mikami man if you hadn't done Resident Evil, then my ne then my favorite other survival horror series would never exist. But anyway, we're gonna keep on going. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I had to talk a little bit about this game. Like, and I'll talk about I'll talk about it more when we finish it. I'm gonna have a big old spiel. <laughs> at the end of this so stick around for that <laughs> uh, what are we at oh probably wasting too much time but give me just one second It's so weird. This game is just complete silence right here. Makes the game like even more scary. scary. Mm. Excuse me. I think we're done here, right? Yeah, we got the battery and everything. So now we have to go to the underground. See, I could go this way. Oh, wait, I don't have the code, do I? There are some earth. Oh, I don't have no room. Never mind. There's some, there are some herbs back there, if you like to or something, you can go back there, but I'm not going to bother. So I feel like I have enough healing items as it is. But we do have to run past this damn zombie again. Not zombie, hunter. This music is so creepy. remember this as a kid dude this shit tripped me out I was like zombies can open doors <laughs> actually you 
know we could just run past this guy, right? Alright, this way. Come on. Come on. Come on. See ya! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> he wouldn't go through the door. <laughs> Got him. Got him. You just got pranked, bro. Alright. The elevator doesn't work. Oh, man. Now we gotta run past this damn hunter. I got a green herb just in case. Whoa! Alright, we made it. Oh, boy. Okay. So now we gotta go, we gotta go back outside, we gotta use the crank, yeah, you'll see. Going upstairs is just suicide, there's like two, two or three hunters up there, no point in going that way. Run! Mr. Spitter! Ah! Okay. <laughs> I made it. Don't you dare spawn another damn hunter. Okay, good. I was worried. <laughs> So we need to go back and we need to go grab the other crank. My name is Albert Wesco. Is that better? I already watched my last video. I was like, yeah, it's not very good. I'm a lot better than that. My name is Albert Wesco. I was an aspiring researcher at Umbrella Inc. <laughs> Sorry, that's more <laughs> Richard Wall. <laughs> it's not DC Duggan. Okay. <clears throat> Any y'all watch Re Wesker's report? That shit's awesome. Okay, yeah, we won't need the modus for a long time. Oh shit, now here. Here we hit a dilemma. So it needs a magnum. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Should I say screw the shotgun? Oh no, there's zombie dogs, aren't there? So, yeah, so what I might do is I might grab. Don't forget the battery, please. <laughs> Talking to myself. Uh, where did I put my handgun? There it is. Guess I can use these on the dogs. I need the battery. And I can run to the guard house to grab whatever else I need there. Ooh, I need a crank. Square crank. There we go. Okay. I haven't used this in a while. Oh, crap. I think there's a hunter out here. Oh, shit. Forgot. I think there's a hunter. <laughs> uh, should I risk... Should I risk it? I don't know. I can just run past them. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna run past them. Because I actually don't have to come back here ever again. 
I don't think. Right? Yeah, yeah. There's the other doom books underground. Shit. He didn't hit me. <laughs> that was surprising. Oh, we have s How many dogs are in here? I think one just spawned, didn't it? So I think there's only like two. Man, I'm so grateful for auto aim. I still hear him, he's still there. Okay, got him. One more down here. Got him. Screw you, dude. Let me grab these blue herbs, I guess. I guess it doesn't really matter, right? I think there's only one other poisonous thing we fight, I think. We got all these, yeah. Alright. <laughs> Map of the garden. Right when I don't need it. Actually, I didn't. I never need it, but yeah, whatever. All right, try to run through here, run past these snakes again. Made it. I gotta do is run past here again. Run to here. Raise the water. That will be good. Then we can go underground. Now we can run to the guard house. And, uh... Put up whatever I feel like we need to. <coughs> alrighty, alrighty then. Guess. Which room I got? I got one. 
empty space. I can grab one more blue herb. Don't. Yeah, we don't really need the handgun anymore. So we're going to be fighting now, or hunters. I sure still ain't taking that damn shotgun with me. Probably gonna try to see if I can run past most of them. <clears throat> okay, let's put these up. I think the square crank's done, I'm pretty sure. So let's just grab the cult python, the magnum rounds. Didn't I grab? Yeah, I grabbed some more magnum rounds, right? Where are they at? Magnum rounds, there they are. Okay. So, yeah, so now we want that one ink ribbon. Just so we can get it out of our in, 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 in inventory. Get it out. Oops. Actually, yeah, that's probably a good idea. I should probably grab a healing item. Grab a triple green. And uh, let's go ahead and go underground. thinking if I should chance it go ahead and grab the hex crank and then save it huh no that's probably bad or, or, mm, I don't know no, I don't have a clue so I should be fine if I just don't fight them and I just run past them I should be okay Let's see how it goes. All right, and now we're in the next part of the game, which is the underground. So, this is when stuff start get, starts getting real crazy. This game better not have froze. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Please don't tell me this game froze, I swear to god. Oh no. Ah, oh, fuck. Did it freeze? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Did it freeze? Oh, I should have saved on the guardhouse. Son of a bitch. Um, I think it'll work eventually. Oh, well, I'm going to leave this episode here. If it really does freeze, I'm going to get back to this point. Um, <clears throat> thank y'all so much for watching this. And I'll see y'all in the next episode. So dumb. Okay. But seriously, thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. See you guys.